Okay, so first off, I just want to apologize for the video quality not being the best. I just had my phone on me at the time and I was using my phone as a flashlight while I was recording. So a lot of it, I'm, you know, looking at the ground while still trying to, you know, record what I see. So I just want to apologize for that. So I've heard a lot of things about this forest from Mike, from Wilson, from Katana, and I didn't, not to say I didn't believe them, but I thought how weird could it be, right? Like, I've been in some creepy woods before, obviously, as you guys know, and even when we were getting our shoes on and Wilson was like, hey, grab a machete, I was like, you know, standard practice going to, you know, woods at night without any protection, that'd be dumb. So I figured, yeah, just, you know, that's, that's normal. Standard practice as it should be. Going in there, I didn't really think anything of it. This is totally, 100 percent. With the perimeter, and look, yeah, if you're just making a rock pile, it's random. This is stacked rocks with little ones filling in the middle. There's ones around. I wonder, is it full of rocks all the way up, or I mean, a corpse, or is there like dirt in there? Mm -hmm. But like around the body, what did she fill? Just rocks? Because oh, that's a lot of rocks. Or did she fill with dirt? Probably dirt. Dirt to form She seems too committed to just do the easy way. Holy sh! This one's huge. Like low key, this is like stomach height. And that's like the headstone. Mhm. Mm it's like they got lazier as they started killing people. Like they put a lot of effort in these big rocks, and they got lazier when that one went smaller. But at the same time, that one seems so much more. Yeah, like they put more time just. True. So maybe, I don't know, that one might have been someone that they really cared about and put a lot of time into making it perfect, and this might have been like a big game kill where they're super proud of their kill, but they don't want it to be perfect and pretty. Where's the child? Another pile. Well, like, look at look at all the branches yeah. around it. These are all small. Like, these have obviously been cut. Yeah. But this is a child. What the it's fuck? Much smaller than the... It's like... That's so bizarre. Dude, these rocks are newer. Look at the mold on these rocks. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. They've added, they've added some in recent... Yeah. Once we got in the forest, my mind changed completely. I didn't think that the things that were in this forest would be in this forest. I mean, there were everything from bones to weird piles of sticks that could be classified as a burn pile, but why would they be in the middle of the woods? There were there were dugout spots of the ground, and they looked big enough to hold a body. I mean, just just weird stuff. Um, there were piles of rocks that looked very very similar to an above ground grave. Just I mean, everything about these woods just made my heart just sink. She stabilized it. That was a weird dog. That... She stabilized it. That was a weird dog. 
She stabilized it. That was a weird dog. That... So like a laughter at first. That's way too soft. Step on this. Oh my god. This is a trap, guys. Bro. She, a she did this because she knew. Step mm. on it. Like it looks like a mattress moving. Wow. Like it like around you also. Well and you can see where it's set. It's so like your light bar is right on the ground and you can see where it is, where it lays. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, hundred percent. What the f Exploring the unknown. Wait, is it an actual hatch? No shot. And then you can open it and I've unbolted those before. You have? Did you ever open it? It was like concrete, like little tunnel. What? Yeah. No, no joke. Like, part of me thinks we should go in it. The other part of me thinks we would absolutely get trapped in. Yeah, and look at this. But it keeps you off the trail a little bit. It's like. It's like a maze almost. Wait a minute. Yeah. Clear, it's like they're clear all the way around this. Right, it's clear Wait. around the grave. It's clear yeah. all around the all grave. Around the grave. All around the soil, it's, it's all clear. The soil goes like this. Nature, nature doesn't do that. But it's completely smooth on all the trees facing the grave. Whoa. On all of them. Yeah, she gets them. Oh. No, like far into the forest. What is that? Oh, it's out. This is so freaking spongy. It's on every single tree. Like, I'm almost. No. It's like, it's actually solidly packed in there. Weirdly, it stops dead, like... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Wait, that's always really... What? Oh, you taking out? Maybe it's... There was something reeking here for like two weeks every time you drove down the driveway. This is just reek of death. What? Do you remember that book? I do. I think a shovel might work better. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps going. Why does it stop dead? But if, like, look and at look this. Look how soft that soil is compared to this. Like, it's loosened. It's been, it's yeah, been, it's been disturbed. Eared. It's been, yeah. I don't know if we should be doing this. I don't think it's too late. Can you imagine if you just pulled a finger out? I was thinking the same oh. thing. I don't know if I would report it or if I would just bury it again. No, you let people do what they do. Fuck cops. Yeah. Alright guys, it's enough. Um, We're going to be buried um, next if we aren't careful. She'll notice this. Oh. I was going to say, what if we come back here tomorrow morning and it's like fixed? And there's oh, just a little painter on top. Oh my god, imagine. Oh. Or maybe if it's a, maybe it's a Smurf carrying a camera. <laughs> oh my god, I would actually flip my Okay, so real quick, the reference to the Smurfs that I'm making is in the Witch's Forest, there are two Smurfs in a tree holding 
paintbrushes. And then below it, by the base of the tree, there's just a regular Smurf with nothing in his hands, no real identifying characters. Well, Mike and Wilson run a painting business. And sometimes Wilson's stepbrother, Ethan, would help out. As much as he is a important part of the business, he is not a primary painter. We have a theory that the two painting Smurfs resemble Mike and Wilson. That's why I said imagine if there is a Smurf with a camera, meaning me. Just a Smurf with a face, like a mouth wiped off and an angry frown instead. Okay, now try digging in the soil like over there. Just to compare it to... No, it's like, it's hard. Not hard, but like, it's, it's, it's like it's stiff. It's absolutely stiff. That is such a good point. It's like there is no skull. Like everything is all together. And but they're in a mess together. It's like if it was if it just died and decomposed, it would be like in its shape. Right. Guys, look at this. Once we got out of the forest, I don't know how to describe it other than relieved. It was very dismal in there. It was very just creepy, but also it had a, like a feeling of death, I guess. So I guess like sadness. I don't really know how to describe it. But once we got out, me personally, I felt just better and feel, you know, as heavy, if that makes sense. It was really good to get out of there.